Well, it's been proven that pairing service dogs with veterans with PTSD helps the healing process. And Paws of War is a nonprofit that trains shelter dogs to serve and provide companionship to veterans who suffer from the emotional after effects of combat. Joining us today, uh, Paws of War Outreach Director, John Wallace, along with uh, Ryan Francis, and of course they brought uh, some really cool little friends. Hi guys, welcome to Great Day Washington. Thanks Good for morning. coming. Good morning. Thanks Good. for bringing your furry friends. What, what, what are their names, by the way? This is Tommy. This is Six. Tommy Six. Good. Very All right. <laughs> so tell us about how service dogs are chosen and trained. Service dogs, they're chosen a lot of times. We, we rescue, and we find that a lot of these dogs have tremendous potential to be trained and to become a service dog for one of our veterans. Um, it comes to who rescued who in the end, especially in my case with Tommy here. Yeah. Um, so what are the responsibilities for the dogs? What, you, you train them specially, um, obviously. Depending for, for on a veteran's needs, it can range from sensing um, signs of anxiety, mm -hmm. anger. The dogs will pick up on that, like Tommy would here, uh -huh. and kind of jump in, lick my face, or create some type of a pause where I'll be able to collect my thought opposed to letting anxiety play all the way out or anger or other feelings of that nature. And they're specifically trained to do that. And, and they, yeah, and they sense the travels right down the leash. It's just, right. uh, they're, they're amazing. I bet they're great to have around. I mean, you gotta, you gotta just love. They're great. Your, your life changed, I'm guessing, since Completely. Tommy's um, been around? Diagnosed with PTSD, um, traumatic brain injury. And since having Tommy, combined with me going to therapy, has kind of transformed my life. Thank you so much for coming out here today and standing up and speaking up for something that really wasn't yeah. talked about just a few years ago. Ryan, tell me about Six and your relationship sure. with this veteran service dog. Well, uh, well he's on alert right yeah. now. Yeah, he's on alert. Six is he's very funky, by the way. He spanked oh, yeah. me with his tail. I got too close oh, to him happy. earlier. There uh, we go. There he is. Yeah. Hi, Six. Um, uh, like uh, John hit on it, 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 it comes down to who rescued who. Six is actually half pit bull. Uh, he was rescued out of the fight pits in Georgia. He was wow. used as a training dog. And what they do, uh, unfortunately, it, it still freaks me out, but uh, to get them aggressive, they pour battery acid on them. So that's where the scars are on his body oh, from. Oh my God. And um, so he was rescued, uh, damn, uh, almost starved to death, and um, Paws of War brought him in, trained him, uh, he has the personality, he has the spunkiness, and all he wants to do is love and lick and kiss, and that's where uh, he comes in for me. When um, I get nervous and the anxiety hits, he knows it, he senses it. Uh, on long car rides, stuck in traffic, he's always got to be touching me some way. He's got a paw on my yeah, hand. After or, all that, oh, after yeah. all that, and he still has that personality, yeah, he's kind and ready to love. It. And this is, spirit. And this yeah. is an all volunteer program, isn't it? Yes, yes. this is a um, all volunteer. Paws of War is actually a 501c3 non for profit organization. And our primary mission is to pair up these dogs with veterans like myself like Ryan. And I'm glad it's working. I'm so yeah, glad it's working. And all four of you, you're welcome back anytime. That's Thank awesome. You so Thank Thanks you for, for your service and your <laughs> new service to the community with the dogs. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Sure.